Hello, this is the top 10 largest open worlds ever on PlayStation. First up, we have excluded random procedurally generated open world games like No Man's Sky because we think that getting AI to do your work is cheating, quite frankly. Number 10, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 90.7 square miles. A big portion of Odyssey's gameplay takes place at sea which certainly helped this game to narrowly beat The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt into the top 10. This beautiful game is a scaled down representation of ancient Greece from 422 BC. Number 9, Ghost Recon Wildlands, 105 square miles. Unlike many open world games, the entire map, featuring a ton of different environments like mountains, forests, salt flats and deserts is all yours to explore right from the start. Number 8. Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. 135 square miles. The developers have aimed to accurately copy the Alaskan island of Kiska to give players a sandbox composed of natural terrain. A ridge of 1000 plus foot mountains runs down one side of the western portion of the island whilst the other side is generally flatter with numerous lakes and small waterways. Number 7. Burnout Paradise. 200 square miles. Unlike today where racing games strive for realism, everything in Burnout Paradise was fake and better for it. The cars, like the 200 square miles of Paradise City, were completely fictional and to this day it remains one of the greatest arcade racing games ever made. Number 6. True Crime Streets of LA 240 square miles A PlayStation 2 game and perhaps the most underrated GTA clone ever. The developers decided to create a world map that was five times larger than anything GTA has ever built. The technological achievement here is astounding and it's hard to believe this game is from 2003. Number 5. Just Cause 3. 400 square miles. The third installment in the franchise, the size of its open world was a major selling point on release, with Square Enix actually holding a contest where they gave away an island to the player atop of the game's leaderboard after 90 days. Thankfully, the winner could also opt to receive a cash prize of $50,000 instead of the uninhabitable island, which they wisely did. Into the top four, Test Drive Unlimited 2, 618 square miles. The game is set upon two islands, the Spanish island of Ibiza and the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Both islands have been modelled accurately using satellite data and feature a day and night cycle along with dynamic weather effects. Number 3. Final Fantasy 700 square miles. This world could have done with being a little smaller. Lots of empty fields, unique NPCs you could count on your fingers, and perhaps areas like pit stops being copy and pasted over and over. We think this one's a little misleading, but it's still up here in the top three nevertheless. Number two, The Crew, 1,900 square miles. In this game, you could drive from New York to Los Angeles in a scaled down recreation of the United States. And on release, many people did make this drive just to see how long it would take. We'll save you the bother though by revealing that it takes nearly one hour in a souped up sports car. Number one, Fuel. This game has a completely free to roam open world approximately 5,560 square miles in size, meaning that it's actually larger than the US state of Connecticut, Northern Ireland, and even the Bahamas. Many gamers have tried to cover the entire map, only to give up halfway through as it's pretty much impossible. An impressive feat for a game that came out in 2009. Sure, the gameplay isn't half as good as some of the other titles on this list, but it remains the largest game map 
we've ever seen on the PlayStation, and by some margin too. And for that reason, you should give it a go if you ever have the chance. Let us know your favourite open world games in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll show them what we're made of! Oh, that was well done!